And often what our mindset is, is if we have more, more money, a nicer house, a nicer car, a nicer job, then that means that we are blessed by God. But when you look at any of the 66 books, then every time that it talks about this concept of being blessed and having God's righteousness, it's all about actually having less. Like I said, it's not wrong to have nice things, but I want to put this catchy phrase up here that really kind of depicts what God means by you are blessed. And it's this idea that if you have less, less equals blessed. I mean, it's in the word blessed. And whenever you look at probably the 40 to 45 verses that talk about God's blessing on us, it comes from an idea of sacrifice. It comes from an idea of giving more rather than having less. And I'm not talking about just giving more money, okay, because it's not about the amount you give. I'm talking about giving everything that you have, whether it's your time, your energy, your prayer life, your volunteer hours, and I believe your finances. Giving more, which means you're going to have less, is what looks blessed. And this is why I think this is so important, because often when we are struggling in our life, Maybe we have to downsize our house. Maybe we lost our job. Maybe we lost our car. Maybe we had to take a pay cut. Often our reaction is, God, how could you take that away? Why are you making me go through this? Don't you want me to be happy and have nice things? And God says, guess what? It was never my end game for you to have those things. You're allowed to have those things, but those things are not what make you blessed. 